You look up at the sun, and you see yellow ore, sometimes orange or red at sunrise and sunset. But here's the surprise. In space, the sun doesn't look yellow. It looks white. Why the difference? Because what you see is filtered through Earth's atmosphere. Blue, violet, and shorter wavelengths get scattered out by air molecules, especially when the sun is low. That leaves more red, orange, and yellow wavelengths reaching your eye. So, from the ground, it appears yellowish. From space, there's no atmosphere to tamper with the light. The sun emits all visible colors roughly equally, mixing into white light. That's why astronauts and satellites see it as white. Here's another twist. Although the sun emits a continuous spectrum, its emission peaks in the green part of the spectrum when you plot output versus wavelength. Yet even that dose and T make it green because our eyes combine all wavelengths into what we perceive as white. Let me drop a myth. People sometimes call the sun a yellow dwarf star. That's a spectral classification, not a literal description of color. It's just a historical label. In reality, its color class is closer to white. Fast payoff. So when you take those dramatic golden sunset photos, it's atmosphere doing the color work, not the sun suddenly turning yellow. Here, that's an open loop for you. Could there be situations where the sun might literally look tin under alien skies or with different atmospheric compositions? Think about it. Now, pattern interrupt. Imagine the sun putting on sunglasses, filtering out blues while keeping warm hues, but that's exactly what our air is doing. So next time someone says the sun is yellow, you can smile and say, not quite. It's white in its true self but dressed up by our skies. And here is a riddle for you. If you could view the sun from another planet with no atmosphere, what color would you see it as? Drop your guess in the comments.